Hello. Thanks for taking time to check out MetaOSINT, the open source intelligence tool and resource aggregator. I'll provide here a real quick tutorial on how to use the MetaOSINT chart in interactive visualization. The chart is intended to help jumpstart an OSINT investigation, useful for when you aren't exactly sure where to begin or if you've hit a roadblock in your workflow. If you've ever asked a question like, I wonder if there's a way to find this specific type of information online, the Meta OSINT chart aims to help. The chart visualizes and highlights top tools and resources as measured during a survey of tens of thousands of OSINT resources last year. You can read more about the methodology in the Learn More section. For now, navigate around the chart by clicking into and out of the bubbles on the screen. First, we see the top-level categories that cover the resources contained within MetaOSINT. These categories were determined by the types of topics most often observed during the study, categories most often used in lists of resources popular within the OSINT community. Clicking one of the large bubbles brings us to a series of lower-level subcategories. Clicking within these, finally, brings us to a summary of specific tools and resources that fall within that category. The size of these bubbles corresponds to how often the resources were cited during the study. Please note, this lowest level of bubbles with blue underlined text contains live hyperlinks out to the resources, so please click with care. As mentioned, the chart was designed to help kickstart your thought process if you aren't sure where to begin an investigation or if you've hit a roadblock. For example, if I'm not exactly sure where to find more details about a Bitcoin wallet that's the subject of one of my investigations, I can click the e-commerce and cryptocurrency category bubble. Here, I can see there are, in fact, many different resources available right now for potentially investigating a cryptocurrency wallet or analyzing the blockchain, all using open source information. I can repeat the same workflow for disinformation or news verification tools by clicking these bubbles. Other very popular categories for early stages of OSINT investigations include the identity slash person search section, as well as the similar and sometimes overlapping social media umbrella. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another tutorial that walks through the other key feature of MetaOSINT, a searchable table covering all 5,000 plus resources covered by the tool.